Thank you for watching Scary Bear Attacks. Welcome back to Scary Bear Attacks. Today's episode takes us to the splendor of Jasper National Park in central Alberta, Canada. The town of Jasper sits at about 3,500 feet in elevation, but the granite peaks all around it climb to about 8,500 feet in elevation. The broad, rounded valleys, shaped by millennia of glacial activity, are packed full of dense stands of lodgepole pine and dug fir, interrupted with stands of quaking aspen, balsam poplar, black cottonwood, white spruce, and white birch. Common plant eaters you might see are white tail and mule deer, elk, moose, and woodland caribou. Bighorn sheep and mountain goats defy gravity on the vertical aspects of the area, and the predators of the area are black and brown bears, cougars, foxes, coyotes, wolves, and lynx. In the area surrounding Patricia Lake and along a trail system near Cottonwood Slough is a favorite and frequently visited trail. This trail system is adjacent to town and is a very convenient place for exercise and recreation for locals and visitors alike. On the evening of Saturday, May 24, 2014, a 25-year-old man, Etienne Cardinal, was riding his mountain bike down the trails, venting some of his youthful energy in the fresh air. He was a seasonal employee as a Parks Canada conflict specialist. He's a local and knew better than to go outside without packing his bear spray. He safely packed it into the holster on the side of his backpack and headed for the door. No source I could find indicated he carried or even owned a firearm. Etienne was only about 10 minutes from safely returning to town from his ride when an enormous roar interrupted the tranquility. He immediately knew it was a bear and that it was very close. So close, he wasn't sure where it was at first. Etienne glanced up from the trail just in time to see a huge brown bear turning toward him just off of the trail only a few feet. There was no time to take evasive action, nor try to avoid the attack. The bear quickly spun and swatted him with its massive paw on his back. The impact of the paw swipe sent him spilling onto the trail. After hitting the ground, Etienne rolled quickly to his knees and covered his head and neck with his arms and began to yell loudly in terror. As he braced for another impact from the paws, he could feel the angry bear pounce on him and begin to bite at his backpack. The only thing he could do was protect his head and neck and scream at the top of his lungs, hoping this would scare the bear away, cutting short the clearly defensive attack. As Etienne covered up on the ground, he could feel it pull at his backpack. Then suddenly it stopped. He looked around to see what the bear was doing, and as he looked up, all he could see was it scampering away quickly. His initial confusion soon gave way to understanding as the contents of his bear spray began filtering into his eyes and nose. He suddenly became aware that as the bear was biting into his backpack, it had found his bear spray container with its teeth and punctured it. The majority of the contents of the can sprayed directly into the bear's mouth and likely right into its lungs. Etienne quickly pulled out a cell phone from his backpack and called for emergency medical help. He knew the bear had raked him on his back with its claws during the initial attack and didn't feel any other wounds. He was quickly rushed to the hospital and his minor injuries were treated. He was released the same day. Park officials completed a search of the area for the bear, but found neither hide nor hair of the bear, but closed the trail system for a week as a precaution. Officials stated that Etienne did everything right and that the occurrence was just bad timing. They believed the bear didn't hear him as he approached and was startled into defending itself. I'm sure we can all agree that Etienne is fortunate, but this incident reveals some very interesting possibilities. Do you think that a bear spray suit is a good idea? The suit could be set up with a few cans of bear spray and once they're disturbed would immediately spray their contents in full measure. What is the risk of such a device? Do you think it would stop defensive bear attacks? We know that bear spray has a 90% effective rating, so what about the other 10% of the attacks? Would you be willing to purchase such a device to decrease your odds or injury of death from a bear attack? Thank you for watching Scary Bear Attacks. If you've enjoyed this episode, please consider clicking on the like button and clicking on the bell icon. We'll help you know when we post our new episodes. Posting our video links to your social media profiles furthers awareness, and it's fun. We slashed our prices in our merch store, linked below. So check out the bargains there while you shop. As a member of our human community, remember to adventure bravely and be careful out there, especially in bear country.